Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Um, I'm going to show you the stuff I got this week and a lot of it I'm really excited about. And um, also, I have the guys here doing pressure wash in our house, so if it gets noisy, I'm sorry, but I had to go ahead and do this. Um, first thing I'm going to show you about is something I'm excited about, and I don't know if you guys are subscribed to Lola Marie 7. I'll put her link down below. Staying at the beach, I needed a hairbrush. I had just gotten my hair cut, and so I ran in Ulta just to pick up any brush. I'd never really thought about it. My other one was just so big. I needed one that was a little bit smaller, and I picked up just a little cheap, I think it's that Zoe brand or something, and I was headed out, and my friend Rihanna in there stopped me and said, you know, don't get that brush. It's terrible. She said, here, get this one. And she it's got hair all over it. She told me to get this one. And it was on the, like a little clearance table in the middle of the aisle. And it was only like, I don't know, $5.97, $6.97 or something like that. But I was like, okay. So I got it. Didn't think anything of it. Started using it that week and I just loved it. I mean, it's like I was, you know, curling my hair and it was just curling so good and straightening. And I just couldn't believe, you know, how much body I was getting with this brush and how much I loved it. And the one thing that's different about it is for some reason it just grabs your hair. It, you don't have to like struggle. And you can curl it like almost all the way up and it doesn't get tangled. And then I think later on that week I started watching videos and I watched Lola Marie Seven's video on how to round brush her hair. And she was using this brush. And come to find out she had a whole video um, on, dedicated to this brush and this one. So yesterday I watched it and I ran out and got this one from Ulta and they didn't have any more on sale but they do still have this one and both of them are right around $15. And this one is a boar's, boar's bristle, boar's hair bristle or whatever. Um, <laughs> Will's here with me. And um, so she was saying this one was so good because the air goes through it and that's so true and um, I used this a little bit um, I think yesterday or night before last, um, just straightening, and I love it. So both of these brushes are just phenomenal, and I'm going to do a whole video next week on my hair and what I do with these and how I don't have to use my um, curlers anymore or uh, Velcro rollers and everything. So great brushes, worth every penny. And they're um, Brush Lab, and they also, I love this little grippy part here. Um, another thing, we'll continue with hair products. For a long time now, I've been using the Purology, um, I think it's the Hydrate line. Yeah, it is, and I love it, shampoo and conditioner. But I always like to have another set of shampoo and conditioner to go to. And um, so I used a sample that my friend Reagan sent me, and it was this. It was the Biolage Delicate Care Shampoo and Conditioner, and it's for multi-processed colored hair. And it's... Um, antioxidant, yada yada, well, sulfate-free, rich lather, all that good stuff. And I used the um, full sample, you know, that night, and I loved it. So I went and got the, the big sizes, and there is no good little package of them that's cheaper. They were both like, I think, $20 a piece, but it's worth it. I love it. It leaves my hair so soft, and what I didn't realize is when I was reading it when I got home, um, it has the, it's got fade fighting formula, it's got the acai berry, and it's also got argan oil in it, in the conditioner. I'm not sure if it has it in the um, shampoo or not. So this in conjunction with the argan oil, and then this. I've, um, Reagan also sent me a little bottle of the um, Purology Pure Volume um, Thickening um, Botifying on gel and I've been using that. Matter of fact, I already went through hers and got a big bottle and I've showed that to you before. So I saw this and I decided to try this and it's the Pure Volume Thickening Mist. So I've been using this um, just right at my roots and it's hard to tell today since I have my hair up. But and I'm just spraying because a lot of it sprays out. I'm just spraying it kind of down my part and then kind of working it in my it through my hair you know, it's going all over, but, so I'm not sure, I've been loving my hair so much lately, um, not, I mean, I like the way it looks, but I love the way it feels, and I love how easy it's been, and how much body it's had, so the things I've been using are this, this, the argan oil, and that, that brush, and my hair dryer, and that's it, and so, um, I'll do a complete hair video next week, and show you all the other products that I use. The thing I have is, I'll show you my clothes real quick. Um, this I actually got the week I was staying at the beach and I forgot to show you guys last week, but it's just a um, 
a maxi dress, and I got it at uh, New York and Company, and I was so bummed they only had this one in my size, which I got a medium. But it is just a plain, 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 all the way down maxi dress, which is what I love about it. Um, it goes completely to the ground. I think if you're, I'm a little over 5'6", and I think if you're any shorter than that, you'd probably have to wear like a wedge or something with it. But with my maxi dresses, I just like to wear flip-flops or something, and I just love it. It's very soft. I think it's made of, um, it must have some um, modal or something in it. Not sure. Yep, it is. 60% cotton, 40% modal. So it's that real soft, silky kind of material. And um, it was on sale. I think I got it for like $20 or $25. So if you have a New York and company, you might go check that out. They had a real pretty, um, they had a white one and a um, like an army green that I really wanted, but I couldn't get. Um, then I picked up, you know, I had that purple tank top on the other day from J. Crew. Um, I also got this one, which is a real pretty peach color, kind of a fleshy peach color. And they were both, um, it was two for 20, and they're normally 18 a piece. And I got a medium, and what I like about these is I don't know if you can see how kind of slinky they are, and um, they're real, they're thin, but they're not see-through, and the rib, ribbing on them is real small. So just makes them a little bit um, nicer looking. This is a top just like the gray one I had on a couple weeks ago. Um, I got it at J.C. Penney's, like in the teeny bopper section, um, and I just went and got the purple one, and it's got the little bit of, you know, lace and stuff around the bottom, and then it's just um, a tube top, and um, they had these on sale. I got it for six ninety nine, and there was right many left. Let's see where to go. I went in Claire's this week with my daughter, and usually I don't even hardly look around there. But um, I noticed they had some pretty good stuff this time, and I ended up getting these bangles, and they came in a set, and I also sent some to um, Angelique in Germany, and um, they're real pretty, and I'm going to wear them today. I just hated for them to be clanking around, but, um, and then the last clothing thing I got this week, and I guess I'll do, maybe I'll do an outfit of the day. Um, I'll do it real quick so I can just show you yesterday this at Belk's. It's like a department store here. And it was regularly 50 and I got it on sale for 25 and I just think it's real cute. And I'm just wearing my um, uh, little boyfriend capri pants from um, America. I have on flip-flops right now, but if I were going out, I would probably put on my either my um, Michael Kors, not Michael Kors, my um, B. Mikowski shoes or the Kenneth Call. I would put on just like a natural color pair of shoes. Um, the next thing I got this week I'm so excited about, um, I told you guys I had my eye on a pair of sunglasses, and um, it was these, and they're the Vogue brand. I got them at um, Sunglass Hut, and I had seen on um, Belle Du Jour NYC, her site, she had gotten a pair of Prada glasses that were um, aviators, but they were plastic, and they didn't have the, the good thing about plastic ones is they don't have the nose piece, so I saw these, and fell in love with them. They had them in this color, which is like a purple and peachy kind of color, and then they had them in an orange, and I can't remember what it faded out to, but um, they were, I think, 80. Here, I got the receipt in here. Um, ah. Yeah, $86 is what they ended up being, and that's kind of, I really think that's kind of expensive for what they are, but I wanted them so bad. But yesterday I was in Ulta, and they had a pair that were real similar, just like this, the plastic frame with nose, no nose pieces, and they were white and green, and they were the um, Rampage brand, and they were like 26. So if you're interested in those, you might want to go check out those ones at Ulta. But I got these from um, Sunglass Hut, and I love them. Um, I think they're just fun, and I love that they're the aviator style, and they go right up in my hair. Um, you know, when I'm running in the post office or something, and then they, you know, come right out. And then, so I love them. My husband said, um, as soon as I put them on and showed them to him, he said, you look like that girl in that David Lee Roth video, California Girls or something. But we looked, and she wasn't wearing these. I guess I just reminded him of them. But um, so anyway, love these, love these, would recommend them. I've been wearing them all week, and I'm just in love with them. So definitely recommend those. And 
to me, if the other ones were 20 some and I really love those that much more, they were worth it. So, but you definitely should go check out those ones at Ulta if you want to look at that. Yesterday those. I ran in Ulta to get the other brush lab brush and I was going to see if there was any more of those brushes on the clearance uh, table and there wasn't. And I, I even asked the manager, you know, why it was on the clearance and she said that sometimes they just, you know, a SKU number or something, you know, goes on clearance. But they, so they do still have both of those brushes. And when I was looking on the table, I saw this. And it is the Hemp's brand Pure Herbal Extracts Purifying Facial Cleanser. Um, sulfate free for gentle daily cleansing. Revives, brightens, enriched with pure hemp seed oil extract. Yada yada. It has like the vitamin C and all that kind of green tea. Um, all that stuff in it. And this is kind of like the cleansers that I like. I still like my Shiseido foaming cleanser. But every once in a while, I like to switch up to one that's um, not creamy. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but not stripping either. This kind of reminded me of the Abaji that I used to use, and it was on sale for $6.99, and it was $21. So I used it last night, and I really liked it. It smells good, and um, so if any of you have ever tried this, let me know what you think, and um, I'm going to see how that goes. Um, I also, you know, I've been loving the Bare Minerals um, shadows, and I've kind of gotten so spoiled to just putting one shadow on, so I wanted a new color. So I ran in there and looked at this one, and it's Bally, B-A-L-I, and it's what I've got on today, and I love it. Today's the first day I used it, and um, I don't know if you can see, but it's just like a golden um, tan kind of color, and um, I don't know, they blend out so much. But it works just as good as like all the other ones, the nude beach and um, bare skin and all those. It just, you put it on and it automatically gives you a contour and everything and I love it. So another winner. I'm just so excited about all my bare minerals. Let's see. Um, then earlier in the week I had gone in there and I was looking at all the bare mineral stuff and I wanted to try a blush. And Gina, Love Peace and Lip Gloss, had already told me about this one. And they were out of it, but I got a good sample. And it's the Sorbet. It's a real light peach color. And um, I got, I'm glad I got a sample because I'm not sure if it's worth me getting or not because it really doesn't show up that much. I've got it on today, but to get any color, I really have to go over it with the Enough Said by MAC, which is another kind of orangish blush. Um, but I'm still on the fence about that. And then when I was in there, I saw these two little goodies here. And this one is, this is my favorite. It's Pink Ice Blush and then Ginger Spice. And you can see, let's see if I can, yeah, they're closed. So you can see that you can open either one and it has this little dial that you turn. Now this morning I didn't want to use this blush, but I wanted to use the Ginger Spice and I had a heck of a time turning this thing. So if, let me know if you've had any problems with that, but I ended up just snapping it off and cleaning it and putting it back. So I did use the Ginger Spice today as my contour and bronzer. And I love the um, pink one too. I just wanted to use more of a peachy tone today. But Pink Ice and Ginger Spice, and this was 22, and I love it. And I got the, they had that one and this one to choose from. This one is um, Bare Radiance and Faux Tan. And I had heard them talk about Faux Tan on QVC, um, Lisa and Leslie. So I wanted to try that. And this one I'm not quite as impressed with, um, especially if you try to use them separate. So what I've been doing is kind of just sprinkling out a little bit of both of them and using it as an all-over face color, and that's real pretty. So if, if you're looking for a blush and a contour, the other one's better. But this one's still an all-over pretty color. So it's worth $22. Um, then I got this um, nail polish that I've already showed you guys, and I love it. It's a Moon Over Mumbai. Love it, love it, love it. I even put the Hidden Treasure over it, and that was beautiful. Um, let's see. I also, this week, I had already gone and gotten a backup of my Smooth Mousse Maybelline Foundation, and I ended up sending that to my friend Angelique because in Germany they don't have it, and I don't know when they'll get it, and we're about the same color. So I went back and really sold out. So um, that made me panic a little bit. And so I called around and I got another Walgreens to hold me one, which is so funny. Who'd ever thought we'd be running around, you know, just freaking out over Maybelline Mousse Foundation. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just love this stuff. So I got two more of the color that I am, which is um, 240 Natural Beige. And I just love this stuff. And a couple of you have asked me if you thought it would be good for oily skin. 
I have an oily T-zone, and which really is pretty much normal. Most people have people have an oily T-zone, and I'm pretty much dry to normal on my cheeks. And the only thing I can say is in the afternoon, probably around two or three, I do blot just with a blotting paper if I'm out or toilet paper if I'm at home, and it's perfect. It doesn't break up. It doesn't slide off. It lasts beautifully. It looks good until I go to bed at 10 or 11 whenever I wash it off. So don't be scared if you have oily skin to at least try it. It's worth it. It's worth the $10. It's beautiful. It would be worth it if you only wore it out at night. Um, but really, don't be scared of it. Um, I think it's awesome. It's much better than the NARS Sheer Glow or the Pro Lumiere in the summer to me. So love it. Love it. Love it. Um, had to get this week. I always hate having to get stuff like this, but I had to get my um, Bobbi Brown eye cream. I considered trying like the Shiseido or something else, but I always come back to this, so I decided just to go ahead and buy this. And it's $45, which is a lot for something that's really not much fun, but really, you know, compared to a lot of eye creams, and it's a good one, um, it's worth it. And this is just, this does not perform any miracles, but it is very, very hydrating, and that's what I need. If your under eyes are hydrated, you're not going to have those fine lines and other stuff that, um, and your concealer is going to go on so much better. It's just real important. So, got that. And now, I am down to my beautiful package I got this week from Coco LaRue, and she sent me some neat stuff, and her and I, um, have been, you know, I'm going to, matter of fact, I've got a package going for her, and I've got a lipstick that I can't use that I'm going to send her, and we kind of been doing that. So she sent me, um, here, we'll start off with this. These are so neat. Um, they're called Baby Head Cotton Buds, and I'm not sure where she gets them from. I'm sure she orders them because they are from, I don't even know where, but they are these itty-bitty, they are these itty-bitty little cotton swabs, I don't know if you can see them. But I haven't used them yet because I've had them waiting, but I can't wait. I'm going to um, surely enjoy them. I'm sure they're perfect for, like, inner corner work and any, anything else. Um, she sent me two new Revlon nail polishes. I almost used this one last night, but I decided to wait. Copper Glaze Platinum, which is beautiful. It kind of would match my eyes. And then this one, or my eyeshadow, and then this one is Iced Spice. And I have looked at this one so many times, so love those beautiful summer colors um and she sent me some samples of some things that she has a beautiful um lip gloss i tried this and i love it um it's the let's see uh la Shuka lip gloss and i'm not sure what color rs1 but um love that and i can see why she didn't like it because she's anti-pink skinceuticals eye balm love it when i get eye samples because i use them I love to experiment. Some more cores. This is the um, Chanel lipstick that didn't work for her. It's called Muse. It's beautiful. Perfect. I could probably put it on today. And um, let's see. Some Clarins uh, Day Moisturize Day Lauder palette, which is beautiful. I haven't used it yet. Matter of fact, I think I uh, did I use that? No, I don't think I've used this yet, but I'm loving that peach color in there. I'll use it soon. Kind of every time I, during the week, I get stuff and I save it in this little container for my haul. So, um, and then this is something that you guys know I've been using all week. Now, Annabelle is like an inexpensive brand that they get in Canada and I'm sure other places too. But um, the eyeshadows, I'm not sure how much they are, but you can get this cool little compact, which is so much nicer than the MAC compacts. And then they snap in there, it's magnetized, they snap in there just like MAC shadows. And I believe MAC shadows can fit in here too. These shadows are wonderful. They are every bit as good as MAC. And I love them. And I love the color she picked for me. I've got this gold on today, again for a highlighter. I love it. I told her it's the best gold I have ever gotten. And I have bought many, many golds. Matter of fact, I have another one called Gold Digger by Paula Dorf. But there's just something about this gold. It's more of a golden and it's, it's just beautiful. Um, and I will tell you the colors that they all are. Um, let's see. Um, so Foxy, I think, is the dark brown one that I've been using. The dark brown matte. I've been using that one as an eyeliner. Um, gold Digger, of course, is the gold. Um, let's see. Bronzed Idol 
is that one right there. It's a real pretty bronze, with a little bit of shimmer. And then the last one is Kaching. And I think that one is that one up there. And it's more of a green green tone brown. But Coco, you did awesome picking these colors. And I recommend if you can go get these exact colors, you will love them. So really excited about that. So goodness, I think that's it. Have a great 4th of July weekend. It's beautiful here. Um, the only reason we're not at the beach is because I needed to stay here with them doing the house. And we're going to go to the beach all weekend or the water park. And I hope you have a great 4th of July, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.